Hello, I'm Rhys Davis, the Director of How to Make a Movie for £43. Hi, I'm Rod Duncan, I'm the writer of How to Make a Movie for £43. Rod, tell me a bit about the movie, please. Uh, How to Make a Movie for £43 is a mockumentary, uh, which means it's a, a drama shot in mockumentary style, so it's pretending to be real life. And it follows the fortunes and misfortunes of a director who is trying to make a record-breaking low-budget movie, uh, which is a task that's been set for him by his producer, who's perhaps got her own motivations. Uh, so is it life imitating art or art imitating life? Well, it seemed very much art imitating life, imitating art, imitating... Well, it got quite recursive. <laughs> uh, but in, in so far as when I wrote it, I did have the writer of the movie within the movie is called Rod Duncan. Brief, what were the biggest challenges in making this movie? I think there's a couple of things. I think one was oh, getting the mockumentary yeah. style, um, how we needed it to kind of be just completely different from doing that. A, a normal kind of narrative piece that took quite a while, and we only realised that while we were going to go along, and that was the second hardest bit, I think, really. The length of the edit, the complexity of the edit, the amount of which we had. Um, so I think those two things are the biggest kind of challenges, which hopefully we are come. What about getting head round? It's a movie within a movie within a movie within a movie. Yeah, I'm still having kind of migraines about that. I think is one of those things where we're saying lines from it. I can't remember if it's from the script or all the lines we kind of generally use in filmmaking. But um, yeah, that was tough. And what happens now? It's been shown in Leicester. Now we look to get on the festival circuit. Um, kind of film, hopefully, kind of play one of the festivals. That's kind of going up the list. Putting into the ones we think is the best for, and then seeing if after that it kind of takes off. And then these sunny festivals? Sunny festivals would be nice, wouldn't they? Yeah, especially if we get invited over. Like um, Cannes, for instance? Well, Cannes, yeah, I mean, Cannes next year, who knows? It's a completely different world. The short film's in there this year, but um, let's see what happens.